New today, the British government released its long-awaited report on the 10 Downing Street parties held during England's COVID lockdowns. The unredacted report details, quote, excessive drunkenness, a sick person, and it provides pictures from inside all of those actual parties. NBC News foreign correspondent Kelly Cobiella joining us now from London. She's been digging through this report. So, Kelly, walk us through the report here. What does it conclude about these parties? Well, this senior civil servant investigated what she said were 16 events uh, over the course of several months while much of the country, while the entire country really, was under severe lockdown rules because of the uh, pandemic. And what she found was, in many cases, uh, senior staffers, senior members of government, and also junior staffers breaking the rules. You mentioned those pictures that were also released as part of this report. In one of the pictures, you could see uh, the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, raising a glass of what appears to be champagne uh, with several people also in the room, their faces blurred, and in the foreground, a table with uh, bottles, several bottles of alcohol, uh, which were open. There are other pictures of him in other rooms uh, with people, in, in one picture raising a, a Coke can. That's said to be his uh, birthday party for which he was fined uh, after a criminal investigation by the Met Police, but that's the only part uh, for which he was fined. Uh, this report lays the blame squarely at the prime minister and other senior members of government, saying that they should have known better, they should have put a stop to this, and uh, blaming them for a lack of judgment and of um, responsibility. Aaron. So, Kelly, given what you just laid out there, this would seem to pose uh, a political, a difficult political situation for the prime minister there, Boris Johnson. Uh, could he? lose his job? Could he be ousted as a result of this? Well, that's always been the big question about, you know, once this civil servants report came out, then, that, you know, they would take a closer look. Members of his party, uh, tough critics of his, would take a closer look at whether or not he should be removed from office. Today, a new poll came out showing three in five Britons uh, want him to step down. He apologized today again. He's apologized several times now, but refused to step down, saying he needs to stay in his post because of uh, the war in Ukraine and also also because of the cost of living crisis in this country, something that lots of countries are going through right now. But the key question is whether or not members of his party will push back, whether or not they will rebel against him. It takes 54 letters of no confidence, essentially, to trigger a no confidence vote. And it doesn't appear as though that's going to happen, at least not in the short term. One of his toughest critics has said today that he should step down at some point, but not while the war in Ukraine is raging. Aging, gives you some indication of, of what his political future is. Aaron. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.